Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Marvel Super Heroes video. Today we are talking about how LEGO and really the rest of the community all but forgot a very important thing that happened 10 years ago this week. LEGO Marvel Super Heroes launched 10 years ago. Technically, I'm looking at Brickset. It said that uh, in Europe it was April 1st or the 2nd. And then for North America, it was April the 8th. Now, I knew the day was coming because I actually have a family member who passed away the day after I wound up getting all the sets. So that's actually 10 years ago today that I bought the set. So I actually, I remember like specifically, I went to the Lego store on the way back from the hospital. I bought all these sets from the Lego store. And then I, on the way home, we stopped at McDonald's. So I built them on the carpet of my floor. Uh, and I remember specifically building uh, the Lego sets with McDonald's. So I went today and I got uh, the same meal that I would have gotten 10 years ago when I was 13 years old. And uh, just, you know, nostalgia wise and anniversary wise. So I knew the date was coming and I wanted to see if anyone would say anything. I wanted to see if Lego would say anything. And the date just kind of came and went. But to me, this is the anniversary for me personally. I got all of the Marvel sets or not all of them. I, I got the small one specifically, the Captain America one, the Loki's Cosmic Truck one, and then also the Wolverine one. Those were the three that I got on April the 13th of 2012. So that date is forever locked in my mind and associated with the picture here that you saw before. So I waited. Nothing happened. And it's funny because I did a video talking about this with DC back in January about how they were acknowledging friends. Everyone, again, who doesn't agree with DC not getting love or just thinks that I talk about it too much, like, oh my goodness, here you go again. Why are you comparing its friends? And I still stand by everything I said in that video. I wasn't like comparing like friends and shouldn't be getting an anniversary. DC should. There was a lot in that video. So check it out. I'll link it here. But what's funny is I guarantee you there is going to be so much more of an uproar with this video because of how much more people love Marvel that they're going to be like, well, where's the anniversary? Where's some form of acknowledgement, like a social media post? Nothing. They did that for other themes. I went back, looked at like Ninjago, looked at Harry Potter and things like that. And nothing has happened for Marvel. And it was 10 years ago earlier this week. And I think that's really disappointing, personally. I think that especially with Marvel, I know like I talked in the last video about everything that DC had done. But with Marvel, I know specifically it has been in the past one of the top performing themes. And looking at just last year, I would say it was the biggest year for the theme with the insane amount of sets that we got last year, including a modular, which is the first ever licensed uh, theme to actually connect to the modular, I believe. And then we've also got the advent calendar. Marvel had an advent calendar. We had a minifigure series. It was a huge year for Marvel. And then it's kind of taken a bit of a step down this year. If I'm being honest, I, I think that a lot of people would agree with me when I say that. Like, we don't have any helmets in springtime. I know that we have, like, some movies and things like that uh, sets. And we finally got the max. But it's just kind of been a slow year. And specifically looking ahead at the summer doesn't look like there's any anniversary sets. I know that in my prediction video that I did in 2021, I was saying how it would be nice if they did some golden figures for Marvel and as well as for DC. Maybe it's even like their first appearances and you throw them in the sets or it's like the golden versions from the Avengers movie and you put them throughout the different sets. Now that could happen. It's just we haven't heard anything about that as of yet for the summer wave. Also, I was expecting with the launch of the Infinity Saga last year that they would be doing Infinity Saga sets for the first Avengers movie. Again, judging off of what we have been told of what's coming for the summer, it just doesn't look like that's the case. And I think that's another really big missed opportunity because I think that you should have done something to tie to the Avengers movie. And that's kind of leading me into this next thing. I want to talk about the history of Marvel in case you have forgotten or maybe some of you weren't even born 10 years ago. It was this theme that just popped up. They had announced it at Comic-Con or a Toy Fair or something like that. And it launched in April. Like I said, it was a month before the Avengers movie back in 2012, which was the biggest movie. I'll never forget. I saw it on the Saturday. I came to school on Monday. Everyone was talking about it. It had net like a movie like that when I went to school had never been talked to that scale about. And of course, it was like the biggest movie at the time. And it was just absolutely crazy. So they had the sets for the movie. They had one wave. 
And for the first time as well with DC and Marvel, they also had these comic books with it, which was really cool. And they stopped doing that in 2017 with Homecoming and Ragnarok, which was a real shame. I personally really love the comic book gimmick. It was so nice. I was glad like we had it for five years, which is awesome. And I, I just really miss that again. Would have been nice if maybe they did that for the 10 year anniversary this year, like just kind of returning to that, acknowledging something like that. So. Anyways, so that's kind of the history of it. And, of course, then they went on to do other movies. They created their own sets, sort of with Spider-Man, working alongside with the TV show. And they have just put out, like, some phenomenal sets over the last 10 years. And I'll put a couple of, like, top 10 videos if you want to check them out from Marvel, just looking at the past uh, few sets and everything like that. It has been a wild ride. Like I said, last year, I think, has been the biggest year for the theme. Anyways, I bring this all up not because at all, at all I want people to go onto social media and be like, where's our anniversary post and all these things. I don't want that. It's also not up to whoever's running the social media account. It would be up to whoever's running the marketing and all that. Please just don't. I don't want to be associated with any of that. I know it might happen with me doing this, but I think it's important to voice these things, especially when looking at other anniversaries. And if you didn't know as well, it's technically also 20 years of Spider-Man. And you might be thinking, well, we didn't have a theme for 20 years. You just said it started in 2012. And you're right. However, with Harry Potter, it also stopped and had a bit of a gap before it returned in 2018. And they had a 20-year celebration last year. Ninjago had a 10-year celebration last year. So if you're thinking, oh, they don't celebrate 10 years, or even send the other video, like Batman had 15. They celebrated the 15-year anniversary this year for the modulars. So they are so careful and wanting to celebrate all these different anniversaries that they're doing. But then these really big themes specifically again with Marvel, because I can say that it is the bigger theme out of that and DC right now. The fact that nothing has been said, nothing is supposedly happening for the summer. There's also nothing happening for any of the stuff that's going out on Disney plus, I guess with the exception of the guardians of the galaxy advent calendar makes me really sad. Now, Hopefully something does happen. I'd love for that to happen. However, the opportunity and time and anniversary has passed this week, which is why I'm bringing this up, which is a bit of a shame. But again, I look forward to the future. Regardless of if we have an anniversary, I still think that we've got a lot to look forward to this year. I hope there is some surprises in the summer, maybe even in the fall, sort of like what happened last year. We'll have to wait and see. And I just hope that they continue to grow the theme as they are because again like supposedly getting another modular this year with the sanctum like it is shaping up to be this incredible theme year after year now so i'm so looking forward to the future of marvel and subscribe turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future lego marvel superheroes news updates and reviews because we do have the thor sets which we will be reviewing uh, very very soon here on the channel as well hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one